This morning, we are tracking Typhoon Haiyan's progress, and you can see it's still massive. If we have that shot right here for you, look how big this is we're talking about. This storm is the strongest tropical storm to hit land in recorded history. It has passed over the Philippines now and is on track to hit Vietnam next. Fishing boats, in fact, they're headed back to dock, and millions of people, they're filling sandbags right now just to prepare. More than half a million people in Vietnam have been evacuated from their homes so far. Officials in the Philippines already started to assess the damage of Typhoon Haiyan. The problem right now is communication is cut off in much of that country. So what this basically means is that we might not know exactly how much damage has been done so far. What we do know this morning, though, is that at least 100 people are reportedly dead already from the storm. And the communication problem is leaving many here in Colorado to wonder if their loved ones survived and if they're okay. As Mark Stewart shows us, they're turning to the Internet. Because communication is so difficult, social media is linking families here in Denver with their relatives across the Pacific. I called uh, him uh, this morning. I said, how are you? After hours of uncertainty, Nora Niblo is now connected with her family in the Philippines. This is her nephew, Raymond, eating a meal by candlelight. He said, we are fine. We are here inside the house, and it's not flooding. It's not the same as... Uh, um, a few miles uh, away. Her brother Ramon also lives there. He too is safe. It's pretty scary. I mean, to see like what's flying around because those are roofs. The images are haunting. It's like metal that's like flying through the air. Nora's daughter Bernadette is depending on social media to keep the family informed. The small town that my mom lives near, in, or her family lives near in the Philippines, um, they actually have their own Facebook page, so I follow that. The damage to the infrastructure will be significant. Yet Nora finds comfort knowing there's a culture of neighbor helping neighbor. The culture of the Philippines is if you don't have any, give someone uh, uh, a share. And when it comes to help, relief agencies are already gearing up with the American Red Cross using volunteers to assess the damage on the ground. In the newsroom, Mark Stewart, 7 News.